My name is Laura um, Michelle Plutt Hatch. All right, and how old are you? I am 30. <laughs> awesome, cool. And what, what's your business that you've owned? Uh, the business that I've owned is my own piano studio. I teach private piano lessons. Awesome, how long have you owned that? Uh, 11 years. Wow, very cool. So why did you decide to, to own your own business? Or, well, I guess it's, why did you decide to teach piano lessons? Well, it started when I was finishing up my own lessons as a teenager, and my mother asked my current piano teacher, what more can Laura be doing? And she said, has she ever thought of teaching? And I hadn't. Um, but I'm like, that's interesting. And so that piano teacher didn't teach through the summer, but she had two students who really wanted to keep learning through the summer, so she let me borrow them for those three months. And one of those students was um, about eight years old and very smart, very clever. The other one was 15 and a little bit slow, but I was able to teach both of them. And oh, it was cool. a revelation to me um, to have success, to be able to teach someone and see that um, reaction, that learning happen right in front of my eyes. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. cool. So why did you choose then to own your own business rather than to work for another piano teacher? Um, well, a uh, piano teacher, for working for another piano teacher isn't that common, especially in more rural areas. You might find that more in a very cosmopolitan area. Um, and it started out just as a hobby. It's like, well, this is fun. Let's try this. And, you know, you get into it two or three years and realize that you're building up a clientele, that you're actually making money. It's not just uh, fun money, it's actually real money, um, and it's like, hey, I can actually do this as a business. That's cool. So I sort of just fell into it, in mm -hmm. a sense. Nice, very nice. So what are some of the benefits that you found from being a small business owner? Some of the benefits um, that are really important to me are the fact that I don't have to be stuck behind a desk all day. I've tried doing jobs like that and it's really hard because you have to be there even if nothing's going on. Mm -hmm. um, so I really cherish the fact that as a small business owner I set my own hours. I can decide when I want to work and when I'm not going to work. Um, yeah, just having that freedom of time is a really big benefit to me. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Is there any, I know there's some, sometimes there's, there's always challenges to whatever we do. So can you say, talk a little bit about some of the challenges of owning your small business? Mm -hmm. uh, the biggest challenge for me is taxes. It's something that I don't think about all year and then all of a sudden it's tax season. It's like I have to go through everything and I hate that. Mm -hmm. um, I finally got um, a CPA to do my taxes and that was a big, big relief because I'd done it on TurboTax for a while and it's just, it's so much. It's so worth it to just get a professional to do it. So for me, that's the hardest thing is dealing with the end of year stuff mm -hmm. and also with um, in, in my business there's a lot of uncertainty to it um, you never know when you're going to lose a student you never know when you're going to gain a student it's really sort of up to chance in a sense or whenever God brings students your way but one of the hardest things about being a private piano teacher is I never know when my students are going to leave me and with piano lessons um, there's never a good stopping point, ever. <laughs> you know, it's one of the coolest things and one of the hardest things about music is no matter how far you go, you'll never be perfect. So mm -hmm. you can keep going as deep as you want into this thing. Mm -hmm. But there's also the drawback of you never reach a point where you say, yes, I have arrived. Mm -hmm. And so when a student wants to stop, they always feel a lot of guilt about it. And usually I just get this hurried phone call saying, we decided to stop lessons, thank you so much, goodbye, you know, and mm -hmm. that's one of the hardest things for me to deal with is mm -hmm. I don't actually get to say goodbye face to face mm -hmm. because of that strange situation. Huh, interesting. <laughs> yeah. So do you have any advice for anyone else who was thinking about starting their own business, whether it's piano lessons or something else? Mm -hmm. Advice about starting a business, I guess, um, what they say is to think about who your customer is, who do you want to serve in whatever capacity that is, and um, how do you want to do that? What do you want your business to look about? You know, just sort of think about it for a bit. If you could have the perfect business, what would that look like? And then start mapping out, well, what are my steps to get there? Do I need certain trainings? Do I need certificates? Do I need 
um, special permissions from the local government to do that. Um, how big do I want it to be? You know, sort of think about the end product if you can. And um, then just take it a step at a time. It's always interesting. There's so much about this path that you don't know and you just, you just start walking on it. And as you walk, different things open up. God opens up different doors for you that you didn't think about when you were planning. Mm -hmm. And there they are, and it's beautiful, and it's wonderful. And so it's, it's a combination of planning and at the same time, um, all the stuff that you weren't expecting mm -hmm. that just happens. So it's like, you know, that verse, man plans his way, but God directs his steps. You know, that is very, very true, especially in small business. Nice. All right. Thank you. You're That's, welcome. Yeah. That works. <laughs>